Self-awareness is defined as conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. Self-awareness is about the mind, it's about perception. And that's also what helps you get past a point whereby you are no longer a victim in your own story. You're no longer a victim in your own world. So this morning I was reading the 5 a.m. club. I wanna open up my little journal and give you a little bit of an insight, right? Some things that I, that I wanted to share with you guys today that made me think more about the idea of self-awareness. The world is a mirror and we get from life not what we want, but that which we are. We get from life not what we want, but that which we are. So however you are in the world, however you choose to perceive reality, however you choose to perceive your life, that is what your life will be like. You understand? Like the world is just gonna reflect back to you what you're putting out. The world is gonna reflect back to you what it is that you are perceiving. So if you're seeing yourself as somebody who, you know, you've had a hard life. Things have been difficult for you. You didn't have a good time growing up. You had so many problems and da 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 that with depression and anxiety and ABC. If that is the narrative that you keep portraying in your life, that is exactly what you are going to be receiving. For me growing up, one, one of my things used to be like, I had such serious, serious anxiety and depression. That used to be what was like a driving force in my life of me feeling very miserable constantly and i couldn't comprehend that i had to do something in order to fix my life i couldn't comprehend that i actually have to be the one to do the external internal work that nobody else is going to be like oh you know what we're sorry for the things that we've done we're sorry for the hurt that we've caused you we're gonna fix it that's not how it's gonna work a lot of the time people don't even don't even want to recognize the hurt and pain that they've caused you in your life creating a sense of happiness only coming from when things externally are going to be fine for you only when coming from when when that person apologizes to you when when you get that money when you get that house when things start working out for you when you're not there anymore and you're not in this environment anymore that's when things when the economy is better when da, 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 da. you're putting so many limiting factors on the reasoning of why you're not happy why you're not at peace and this is what it was for me growing up i felt as if because of the way that my life was because of how i grew up you know i always felt this sense of of, I don't belong anywhere like I was always in a state of confusion like, it felt like it, things needed to be a specific way in order for me to be happy if things were not that way then why where's my happiness I was always chasing love you know love from other people love from this place you know security peace from other people until I found out that guess what I can give it to myself <laughs> I can give myself the love I can give myself the security I can give myself the peace I draw that from a frequency of light I was always living in a plane of darkness until I realized that I have the choice I have the capability to pull myself out of that and live in life you constantly live in a cycle of they hurt me they hurt me they did this they did this they did this and we never actually look at ourselves and say what did I do that was wrong what did I do that aided to the negativity that was clouding the relationship or friendship whatever it is what was I doing wrong that is where we get to self-awareness once I realized the code of being able to understand that something is someone else's perspective and this is my perspective and this is the general consensus of things at the end of the day there's not there's no point fighting to say i'm right i'm right i'm right you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong it doesn't do anything it doesn't help me doesn't help the other person doesn't help the situation you have control over the way that you think over the way that you feel over the way that you internalize things that's when everything kind of like starts to place itself nice and nice little formation in front of you and it's like oh it's just that simple and that is the superpower every human being has an instinct for greatness a hunger for heroic and psychic need to rise toward the heavens of their finest capability whether we remember this consciously or not a lot of us have been minimalized and pushed down by so much of the dark and toxic influences around us we've forgotten all we truly are we've become masters of compromise slowly and steadily allowing in more aspects of mediocrity until a point arrives where it's our standard operating system real leaders never negotiate their standards they know there's always room to improve they understand that we are most connected to our sovereign nature when we are reaching for our best Alexander the Great once said, I'm not afraid of an army of lions led by sheep. I'm afraid of an army of sheep led by lion. 
Now, self-awareness also comes with being able to put a magnifying glass on the, on the world. And once you put a magnifying glass on the world and you actually see what systems are trying to do, what society is trying to do, what the world is trying to do, what other people are trying to do, you understand how much of it you you have this 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 like pocket of being able to like escape. You can say, you know what, I actually am destined for greatness. And this path that everyone wants me to go on, this path that the, the world is trying to push me into, I don't think that's what I truly want. Because I'm actually looking at myself and I'm saying like, okay, I think I'm good at this. I'm better at this. I'm better at that. I have a, my mind is telling me to do this thing. Why is like everything else telling me to go there? When you can kind of separate those two things and decide and be able to put a, a magnifying glass on yourself, a magnifying glass on the world, you can now decide which way you want to go. And that is what your own way. Get into it. Every time you become aware of yourself dropping into victim mode and make a more courageous choice, you rewrite the narrative. You raise your self-identity, you elevate your self-respect and enrich your self-confidence. Every time you vote for your superior self and starve your weaker side and feed your inherent power. And as you do this with consistency, demanded by mastery, your capitalization IQ, that is your ability, that is your ability to materialize whatever gifts you've been born with will only grow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your capitalization IQ is your ability to materialize the gifts that you have been born with. The superpower, do you understand? Being able to tap into your mind, tap into your talents, do you understand the C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G? I'm good at all of this. I think I'm capable of doing this. We all have ideas. We always say like, I want to do this and I want to do this. The difference between you and somebody who's actually living in the frequency they want is that they decided to actually do it. They put their actions in their words because you believe that you're capable enough. Do you understand? This is why, you know, you look at people that are great in the world, that are history makers. There's a reason why they're history makers, because they thought outside of the box. They thought about something and they did it regardless of what the world was telling them to do. Most of the artists back in the day, people said they were crazy. It's, it's, it's insane. The fact that so many great people were only recognized after they died. What does that say to us about society? You know what I'm saying? We constantly put these barriers on ourselves because we put them on other people. Like we don't believe, we don't believe, we don't have that inner belief, you understand? But that comes with actually being connected with your mind, actually being able to see yourself with a magnifying glass. Growing up for me, I was absolutely miserable. Like I'm literally, I, I'm always saying like, I'm not gonna make it to 21. I'm gonna probably die before 21 because I'm like so depressed. I'm so depressed, there's no happiness in life. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna succeed in anything. You understand? I'm on my own. I don't have anybody. I'm just like pushing every single day to just stay alive. And I could not enjoy life. I could not enjoy being grateful about anything because it just felt as if, what's the point? I mean, what do I have to be grateful for? Now, when I look at myself, after getting through a point of self-reflection, and becoming self-aware I'm like oh I'm actually pretty cool I'm actually pretty cool my brain my mind is different because it's just different my mind from someone else is different but that doesn't make me a bad person that doesn't make me weak it doesn't make me less just because maybe I feel more maybe I'm a bit more emotional than the next person but that doesn't make that's not wrong I just get so many comments about you're so overly emotional you need to you need to you're just too overly emotional until I learned to put that emotion into my art and my creativity instead of allowing other people to have access to that that was the game changer for me because I realized the amount of energy I was giving out to people that were never meant to receive it I was meant to put it in my art my pain, my experiences, my depression, my anxiety, all of these things, I take it and I put it into my art. As much as the world wants me to not even put it anywhere, as much as the world wants you to stifle it inside of you, shut up and get on with your life, I said no. You know what I'm saying? So many great artists, their, their whole spirit and being and everything is in their art. The world always wants you to be quiet. Quiet down your voice. Quiet down your emotions. Die for yourself. You understand? That's what the world is pushing you towards. And I said, and the more that I do that, it's making me miserable. So why, why should I continue? And that's exactly why we live in a society, in a world of people who are 
miserable. I've got this understanding that I had a choice. I had a choice to be miserable. I had a choice to, be, to live my absolute best life every single day. To choose what I'm doing in every single moment of my day. To know that I'm doing this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You understand? I've got this plan. These are the plans that I've had and I believe in myself and I believe in the plans that I have. You understand? It's not easy when you are coming out of the system and you're coming out of a perspective and you have to start forcing yourself into a different direction. I see myself now as I'm 25, my frontal lobe is fully developed and I'm like, oh, this is life? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. That's a vibe. I can get with it. You understand? I can get with it. Let me just see. Understanding how important it is to be self-aware. Remember that. It's important to be self-aware because self-awareness is the only thing that's going to get you to continuously climbing and uplifting and growing in yourself. That's why it's important to read books. That's why it's important to put, you know, your energy into your crafts, into hobbies, into things that you love and not be putting your time into distractions, which is what we do. We distract ourselves with the TV, with the TikTok, with the da 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 you know what I'm saying? We distract ourselves all the time. We're always trying to distract ourselves so that we don't look within ourselves. And that's the problem. The more that you're scrolling on TikTok, which time do you have to look at yourself and say, am I really being a good person? Am I really doing the things that I want to do? Am I really living in the light that I want to live in? Am I really making the decisions that I want to make for myself? Am I really deciding for myself? Or is somebody deciding for me? Because we, we those questions are always arising and we're like, mm. I'm gonna scroll instead. I'm gonna watch TV instead. That's what distractions are. Distra it's not even about distracting you from, it's distracting you from yourself. It's distracting you from cultivating real, true, genuine relationships with people because you can't sit down with yourself and say, who am I and am I doing the right thing for me and the people that I love? Am I doing the right thing? If you're somebody that believes in God, like am I doing the right thing for, for what God wants for me? You know, these are the questions that we have to continue to ask ourselves. This is how we get to a point of continuously evolving, developing, growing. You understand? Like getting our mind to a higher place. Do you understand? This is the reason why we sit and we watch these videos and we listen, read these self-help books and all of this is because we're actually trying to elevate as human beings. But you cannot elevate without self-awareness. That is the superpower. I was self-aware about the fact that I was self-sabotaging, you understand, this whole week that I was not being consistent with anything and I was just, you know, being groggy and being like, oh, I just want to stay in bed and just sleep and my body's feeling so tired and like, let me just give myself a week off. But I was like, if I'm giving myself a week off, it has to just be a week, you understand? I need to get back on my grind. And I did. Got up. Look at me. Yeah, you know I was like, but you get me, you get me, you get me, guys, you get me. So yeah, so yeah. That's a wrap. That's a wrap for me. I'm trying to tell you how to tap into your superpowers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope that this message helps you to take a bit of time to reflect and look at yourself and try to understand how you can create like a better life for yourself, how you can create a perception, you understand, that is more suited for what you want. You understand? The world is reflecting how you feel. The world is reflecting what you say about yourself, what you say about your life what you think about your life you know what you think about yourself your the world is just going to be reflecting that back to you so always remember that and be self-aware you know what i'm saying stay woke you know what i'm saying stay woke stay educated you know what i'm saying we need that we need to we need to stay educated always keep learning you understand always keep learning and progressing and growing that's how we evolve you get i really really hope that you guys enjoy this video um i'm back to being consistent so prepare to be sick of me you know what i'm saying please don't forget to subscribe comment like share you know the vibes you know what i'm saying thank you